What's up on YouTube? My name is Alex and welcome to another TV box review. Today I'm bringing you the T95X TV box. This TV box is probably the cheapest box to download Logic S905X. Aside from that, we have 1 gig of RAM and 8 gigs of internal storage. Of course, I left some links in the video description if you want to check this out. Next, I'm going to show you what box this comes in and then I'm going to show you how the box performs. Let's begin. The T95X comes in this box right here. This box looks just like the one found on the Mini M8S. And on the back and onto the side here, some more information about the box itself. Inside the box, we find the remote control. This is the same remote control we find on most of these TV boxes. I do recommend using a wireless keyboard and mouse for a better experience. We also find the HDMI cable, the power adapter, and lastly a generic manual that is in English and it has a couple of pictures. The T95X is probably the smallest TV box that I've seen. It is made out of plastic entirely. On the back here we just have a couple of holes so the box doesn't overheat. And these are some rubber legs so the box doesn't move. On to the right hand side here we have a slot for a TF card and a USB port. On the back of the box we have the AV output, the HDMI, the network adapter port, the second USB and lastly where the power adapter goes. For the duration of this video I will be using this wireless keyboard and mouse and I left a link in the video's description or the top right corner if you want to check it out. As soon as we turn on the box we get to the Mbox logo and this is the same logo that we see on most of these TV boxes. After a few seconds we get to this launcher, it's the same launcher that we see on most of these TV boxes. The navigation bar at the bottom of the screen here can be hidden, however, if you do hide it there is no way of actually bringing it back up, so you're gonna have to power off the box uh, in order for the bar to come back up. Now, the worst box that I've used before was the MXQ Pro Plus, that was the absolute worst uh, box that I've ever had. Today, with the T95X, um, this takes uh, that place and this is probably the worst box that I've used until now. Before I get into any tests, I'm gonna say that the Play Store doesn't exactly work. I've done lots of factory resets, clear data, clear cache, etc, etc. Yeah, the Play Store, you cannot install anything. You can open it, so I can open the Play Store, but um, yeah, nothing, uh, I cannot install anything. So the Play Store is absolute garbage and useless. We also get some Google Play services uh, error every now and then and it just pops up uh, all the time. So all the apps that I'm gonna try onto this box I had to download uh, through the browser. Other than that you cannot uh, install anything from the Play Store. So that being said I wouldn't exactly buy this box. However if you're still interested in this box I'm gonna show you what apps come pre-installed. So, we do get Kodi and this Kodi update right here and the Play Store and that's about it. Uh, there is Skype, uh, YouTube and Netflix as well. For the settings app, it's the same settings app that we find on most of these uh, Android 6 TV boxes. A display here you can just select uh, whatever screen resolution uh, you want. Of course this will uh, be different on your TV. For uh, sounds here, um, digital sounds, uh, you can select whatever uh, you will be using. At apps, we can see what version of Kodi this box has. So let's uh, find Kodi here. So this box is using Kodi version 16.1. I'm gonna go to more settings and here at USB and storage. So we do get uh, 8 gigs of internal storage with this box and uh, out of that uh, we get about 4.7 uh, free and of course I have some apps installed and so on so basically we have about 3 gigs uh, free however you can install a SD card and that will become internal memory. Since I'm here anyways I'm going to show you the languages. So languages, I'm just going to scroll through them so you can... Uh, See if you see the one that uh, you're interested in. So a lot of languages like most of these TV boxes. And lastly I'm gonna go to system and about media box. 
And here we can see the model number, which is T95X and Android version, which is Android 6.01. And that's about it for the settings app onto this TV box. On the Antutu to benchmark, the box gets a score of 27,300. And at info here, we can see some more information about the box itself. On the Geekbench 3, we get a multi-core score of 1791 and a single core score of 639. And right here, we can see some system information and down here, some more uh, information about the test itself. For those of you that may be interested, this is the digital restriction management information. On the iStorm Extreme, the box gets a score of 4078 and down here, we can see some more information about the test itself. For the RAM and the internal memory, these are the speeds that we get on the T95X. On the speed test app, the box gets a very good download speed uh, through a wired connection through my power line adapter. However, on Wi-Fi, the box is not usable. These are the Wi-Fi speeds, so yeah, it is impossible to use the box connected to the internet through Wi-Fi. The box comes pre-installed with Kodi 16.1. Uh, there are some add-ons that come pre-installed. I'm just going to open the add-ons uh, here. So quite a few, however, you can easily install uh, these yourself. Now I'm going to go to system and system info here. I'm going to show you some information from here. So the screen resolution and the available RAM uh, at this particular time. Now, since I have Kodi opened and uh, it seems that uh, nothing else works on the box let's check out a couple of videos uh, a couple of files here so if i click on videos and files we'll see some files that i have onto the sd card so this is the first 4k file that uh, doesn't really work on these s905x boxes let's see how it does uh, onto this box and uh, yeah not great so now the box is frozen, so I can't really do anything. I just see a black screen. No matter what I press, the box doesn't uh, doesn't do anything. So we'll try the next file. So I had to exit Kodi. Let's try again. So this is the second 4K file. This one should do better. This one does uh, very, very well. So this one seems to go quite well. Let's go to the next file uh, here. This one here is also a 4K file filmed with my phone. So let's see this one. Unfortunately, nothing happens. So the box is kind of frozen or something. Okay, so I guess it doesn't want to play that file for some reason. Okay, so the next file we're gonna try, it's gonna be this one here. But um, yeah, I guess it doesn't work anymore. So I'm gonna have to, okay, it started. <laughs> so after a while, yeah, it seems to go uh, and it does uh, seem to go quite good. Let's stop this one and try a different file now. Let's try this one right here. I'll give it a second or so. So I can hear the music, but it's all. So unfortunately, this one doesn't seem to go. Let's try a 720p file and the last one that I'm going to try. And surprise, surprise, this one uh, does good. So yeah, not too many files do, do very well on this box. Everything seems to like freeze all the time. Nothing uh, seems to work good. So that's how uh, a couple of files work on Kodi. I have the YouTube app open. Uh, I'm gonna open all of my own videos and it's already running in the background there. The maximum resolution on YouTube is 720p, even though this um, video is 1080p. 
So we'll select the 720p and uh, let's see how smooth the video goes. So it doesn't uh, seem to very bad. It's okay in fact but it's only 720p. So that is the downside uh, to it. So yeah, YouTube app, uh, the YouTube app will do okay at 720p. So I have a game playing uh, right here. The game seems to do okay. I mean, uh, with this processor, it is expected uh, these type of games to to do fine. However, the box uh, it's one of the worst that I have ever tried. It freezes constantly. It shuts down. You have to restart it. So I would not buy this box no matter what. I don't even know how much it costs at this uh, particular time, but there are uh, other boxes with a new um, Logic S905X and Android 6 um, that work much, much better. Hopefully this video was useful. Uh, if you did uh, like it, please press the like button. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And if not, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.